Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Celeb said Trump should be beaten to pulp and urinated on. Finds out he's not above the law. Since President Trump has been elected, it seems like a never-ending stream of threats has been launched at him and those who surround him. They range from the ridiculous and laughable to straight-up death threats. The Secret Service is busy every day on this front for Trump. It just shouldn't be this way and it is a sad statement on the state of our country and our political culture. Nowhere is this more evident than in Hollywood and with leftist celebrities who harbor a white-hot hatred for President Trump. It's simply unhinged. Everyone from Kathy Griffith to Madonna has jumped on that bandwagon. Most comedians and actors out there are doing the same thing. Actor-comedian David Cross just recently cracked jokes over beating President Trump to a bloody pulp and urinating and defecating on him, according to a new report. It's gross and disturbing, to say the least. The Salt Lake Tribune is reporting that during Cross' performance at the University of Utah Wednesday, he included humor about abortion, Nazis, the Holocaust, terrorist bombings, AIDS and beating President Donald Trump to a bloody pulp and then urinating and defecating on him. Wow. This guy looks like he needs some kind of intervention here. I don't know about you, but I don't personally find any of those topics in the least funny or humorous, not to mention appropriate. Cross, 54, is best known for his role as Tobias Fionke in the hit Netflix show Arrested Development. He's delved into political humor a lot and is well known for it. He recently went after Republican Senator Marco Rubio, implying that he gave up his balls. Do tell. Appearing Wednesday night at Kingsbury Hall. David Cross went about offending Mormons with glee. He expressed surprise that an edited ad he posted on social media that showed him in Latter-day Saint Temple garments caused such a stir. But he certainly didn't apologize for it and that was only the beginning. I truly had no idea how much offense people would take. I didn't know because I never would have imagined that, he said, opening his act by spending seven minutes talking about the controversy. It doesn't make sense to me. Right. Cross said he was genuinely shocked that it was so upsetting to so many people. But I'm not using that as an excuse at all, because although I didn't know that it would be so deeply offensive, I also don't give a s. That's the truth right there. He just doesn't care. What's worse is those attending applauded, laughed and cheered his vile form of humor. From the Salt Lake Tribune. Clearly, he did not. His surprisingly long set, which ran just 10 minutes short of two hours, included humor about abortion, Nazis, the Holocaust, terrorist bombings, AIDS and beating President Donald Trump to a bloody pulp and then urinating and defecating on him. So, no, an ad featuring temple garments didn't seem out of character. Cross didn't back away from the topic. He said he'd never before seen the words underwear and sacred in unison, but when they're put together, they're hilarious. He said the controversy was just a reminder of how thrilled and satisfied and happy it makes me to know that I will never be affected by a photoshopped picture of a dude in long johns that you can get at a Target. You can go to a Target and get something that looks very similar. And the good-sized crowd, several hundred, at Kingsbury ate it up, cheering and hooting in approval. Cross, an avowed atheist, had pointed criticism of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints on several occasions saying he is offended by people who ostracize members of the LGBTQ community until sometimes they commit suicide. So I would say that people who are offended, deeply offended, by the photoshopped picture of some underwear, get your own F, house in order first. Cross didn't dwell on Utah's predominant religion, but he didn't ignore it, either. He told a story about visiting Temple Square and the monument to the three witnesses to the faith's signature scripture, the Book of Mormon, which ended with church founder Joseph Smith promising the three they will be drowning in, ahem, ah, uh, women if they back up his absurd story about the golden plates. Cross even said that those who walk out of his latest comedy show are pro-Nazi supporters of the president who want to make America great again. From the Washington Times. There'll be two to six people who didn't do their homework, who don't read this article, who just know me from TV, he told the Salt Lake Tribune shortly before his O-Come on show at Kingsbury Hall or friends of friends got them tickets or whatever. And people leave because they're pro-Trump or they're pro-Nazi, and they don't like hearing a comic make fun of Nazis. They want to make America great again. And by doing that, they think, you have to elevate Nazis. People leave. And that's on them. I don't give a shit, he continued. D your F, ing homework. I've been doing this for a long time. Sounds like Cross has some very violent fantasies about President Trump. He's not alone. Just look at actor and wannabe artist Jim Carrey. He recently tweeted a drawing of Trump being burned at the stake just days after he released art of Trump being hanged by the American flag. 
perhaps cross and carry our jonesing for some quality private time with the Secret Service. I would oblige them if I were the Secret Service. In the end, this isn't funny at all and I suspect that Cross and Kerry both will find out they are not above the law and threatening the life of the President of the United States. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.